chief of Hawaii squad. The cutest, cutest view right now. I want you guys to see this. Check out the dogs. <laughs> so cute. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Oh no, I woke up Cypher. They were both sleeping and they're so cute. Sorry Cypher, go back to sleep. I didn't mean to disturb ya. Oops. That's the bed of Sahara. Yeah, this is Sahara's bed, but Cypher took it. And look at the size, they're almost, they're catching up. Okay guys, it's been one year. <laughs> Hi, happy birthday Nika. Uh -oh. Raquel, Edmark, Nika, and it's like old times, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's Nika's rewind. birthday. It's a, it's a rewind. Obviously, we're under lockdown, so we're just hanging out for Nika's birthday. It was supposed to be together, though, in real life, yeah. at a restaurant. Yeah. But this is okay. Zoom is okay, too. We have lumpia here. Mmm. All right. There's the cake. Ooh. Sahara, so come here. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. All right. Yay. <laughs> Go ahead, Nika. Yay. Happy birthday, Nika. Awesome. Good morning! The dogs are playing with their foraging toys. I've placed snacks. Here, I'll show you how to use it. See? Go! There's a little snack there. Good girl! And Cypher has his own, but out of view because they will quarrel. He's so good. He's already found several. Go get it! You can get it! Yay! Good boy! There's one here! It's a, I've put in a mix of his pellets and his treats. Yay, good boy! Ah, so cute. Good morning, Mabuhai squad. It's a brand new day. It is a Wednesday hump day. Mm -hmm. How are you all doing out there? Mm, did you sleep well? I know I did after all that wine and beer I had last night. Um, And RJ says, I look like a Pokemon today. He says I'm swollen. Am I? Yeah. Guys, I generally follow a keto slash intermittent fasting diet, right? But for all of you who follow keto, oh, by the way, keto, but disclaimer, I cheat every day. I've just been doing keto for maybe five or six that I can manage to eat some carbs and I still stay in ketosis. Anyways, that's all random stuff. But because I'm doing keto, when I have a surplus of carbs, like if I were to eat a bunch of pasta, or bread or in the case of last night beer and wine my face guys blows up something happens like my body doesn't know how to process all of that sugar and carbs that it just goes straight to my face and to like not so much my belly but like mostly my face and my butt so yeah I'm really swollen today guys it's okay I just need it'll go away in a couple days I just need to massage it you know so drink lots of coffee so that my body remembers how to get energy from fat you know what I mean all of you keto people know what I'm talking about <laughs> Anyways, positive affirmation time for Wednesday, March the 31st. I pay my bills with joy and gratitude and life takes good care of me. There you go guys, bills are a great thing. It means you're living life. I remember someone told me when you're paying your bills, it means you're living life. So there you go. Start looking at bill payments as a great thing, as joyful and something to be grateful for. Life will take care of you guys. Hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. And again, a big, big happy birthday to our cousin, Nika Bustos. Yes, happy birthday. Um, last night was so great. Um, and you know, it's just crazy because I totally remember last year also celebrating Nika's birthday on Zoom. Do you guys remember that vlog? It just, I can't believe it's been one year. Like seriously, like, because of lockdown and this pandemic, it feels like the year was a write-off. It just went by super quick. And if things 
continue on in the same pattern, I might be having a Zoom birthday too in June. Although I hope not. It would be great to have a real life birthday with real people connecting, etc. And ooh, hopefully at the Mabuhay Squad farmhouse. We'll see. No expectations. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. Okay, guys. And speaking of carb overload, my face is about to get even more swollen. <laughs> so, um, you guys saw in the title of this vlog that today's vlog will be a mukbang. Like, a proper mukbang. Um, for those of you who don't know what a mukbang is, it's basically a video where you eat in front of camera. The reason why I wanted to do a mukbang is because I wanted to try to see if maybe in the future I could start a mukbang channel because you guys seem to like watching me eat well a lot of you do I understand if you don't because I eat like a pig it's really gross I'm sorry my mom and my tita always call my attention growing up but I just love food so much um and so for today's mukbang I wanted to feast on amare la cucina it's um, basically a an awesome Italian fusion restaurant here in the Philippines. Happens to be run by my cousin, Edmark. And guys, honestly, not to be biased, it's the best pizza in the Philippines. Trust me, so good. Yes! I'm gonna be eating this pizza for you guys. The flavor is called Pinoy Boy Pizza. Um, invented by yours truly. The story behind this pizza is, one time we went to their first location in Baguio, in the mountains, and they let you design your own pizza. So I designed this. I called it Pinoy Boy Pizza, right? I presented it in the vlog. And then you guys went to that location and kept asking for Pinoy Boy Pizza as if it was part of the menu. Um, and so I Mark decided to just add it to the menu and turns out it's now their best seller and oh guys it's so good I can't wait to eat this I'll also be eating my recent favorite on the menu which is this polio frito it's basically the thigh part of the meat so the dark meat of the chicken and deep fried like Japanese karage uh, and it's lemonized and oh it's gonna be so good. It's my favorite thing on the menu. So, guys, let's get started. I don't know how I should position this camera. Should it be like, like that? I guess it's okay if you don't see the food, right? Should I put this on a riser? Yeah, that's how they do it. Wait, see? I'm discovering my dog's dog food. There, oh my gosh, that's how they do it. Perfect, mmm. All right, let's get started with this mukbang. The pizza's hot, let's eat. So this is brick oven pizza, guys. Mmm, mmm. It's got a variety of cheeses, sausage, pepperoni, lots of tomato sauce. I love it with tomato sauce. Mmm. They use fruit, wood, like wood from fruit trees, to fire the brick oven. Mmm, so good. Mmm-hmm. And then, guys, look, we can put chili oil, mmm-hmm, chili powder, sprinkle that on there. Mmm, yes. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Mm -mm -mm. I don't eat crust. Do you guys eat crust? So delicious. It's like one slice is gone before you know it. Mmm. Guys, I think pizza is one of my favorite foods. Mm -mm -mm. Mm hmm. Open, open. Oh, so good, guys. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Getting water, water, sip. Mm hmm. The best water. Oh, so good. Let's try this, the pollo frito. Now there's slices of lemon in it, so I just squeeze the lemon on it, like all over it. Cause guys, the lemon just lifts it. And then you dip it in this like garlic I I don't know what this is, like creamy yogurt sauce? I'm not sure. Mmm, 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 mmm. All of you in the Philippines, have you tried a mare pizza? So good, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have another one of the chicken. So guys, for those of you who are locked down right now, do you guys order more or do you cook at home more? Let me know in the comments. I realize there is no really right or wrong answer to that because restaurants need to survive too, you know what I mean? They need business, so you can support local restaurants by delivery. But some people prefer to cook at home to maybe save money. Also, some people might feel it's safer. Although, if we're talking about amare, they are super safe. 
Staff is tested, covered, everything, gloves, the whole work. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More pizza, guys. Here, I'll give you guys another bite. Mm. Where's your favorite pizza place? I'm curious. I remember in college, I pretty much survived off pizza and poutine. In Canada, we have this fast food pizza place called Pizza Pizza. Mmm, so good. I love Pizza Pizza. Mmm, mm -mm -mm. Let's dip the pizza in the garlic sauce too. Mmm, 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 mmm. Chili oil. Mmm. Guys, so good. Five Mabuhay stars. How often do you guys eat pizza? You know, Ed Mark, he mentioned to Arjun and I that he would help us build a brick oven. That would be their housewarming gift to us. I can't wait to have this. Although, you need more than a brick oven to make really great pizza. It's all in the dough, the ingredients, the wood you use, you know what I mean? Mmm, 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 mmm. And Edmark and Nika have a secret recipe for their dough. Mm, those, those are mushrooms, guys. Such good mushrooms. Mmm. Amare really nailed it with their pizza. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, guys, we just finished half a pizza together. Let, let's eat more of these. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for this delicious meal. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that, guys. Open, open, open. Yes. Mmm. 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 -hmm. So, what do you guys think? You like this mukbang? Are you eating with me? Oh my gosh, guys, go get food. Let's eat together. What would be great is if you guys go order Amade right now and let's eat together. They have like so many locations now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What other foods would you like to see me do mukbang with? Japanese, Mexican? Let me know. We'll make it happen. Should I start a new mukbang channel, guys? I eat every day. And if we do start a mukbang channel, RJ and I will have to make the extra effort to like, you know, prepare or order really great meals so that like you guys can watch me eat strangely because you guys like that, some of you. Mm. I grew up with Italians, right? I would say 90% of my neighborhood in Canada were Italian families. I love Italians. They are such awesome people. Very compatible with Filipinos, actually. Very similar cultures, I suppose. We love food. We're very family-oriented. My Italian neighbors would meet every weekend with their cousins, just like me and my cousin, my Filipino cousins. We're very close. Some of my ex-girlfriends were like, why are you meeting with your cousins every weekend? Why is it a must? Like, is there so much that happens? happens between that week that you must meet them every weekend I'm like girl you don't understand <laughs> um, but Italians are the same very family oriented I do feel Italian pizza is a bit different than pizza made here it's more like a mare pizza like the the pizza um, sauce is a bit more sour um, but in other pizza places um, here in the Philippines I find the pizza sauce is a little sweeter like sweet Mm. I personally like the pizza sauce sour. How about you guys? And Italians, gosh, they make their own everything. All of you Mabuhay squad from Italy, all you Italian Mabuhay squad, I love how you guys make everything yourselves. There's a season where everyone in the neighborhood will have their tomatoes laying out on their driveway on like plastic sheets. I'm like, oh, it's tomato sauce making season. They would also make their own peaches, like preserved peaches. Oh my gosh. And we used to love getting these jars of like tomato sauce from our Italian neighbors and like peaches. And they would even give us, OMG, like different breads they've made and sausages. Oh, it's awesome having Italian neighbors, guys. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, more pizza. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Do you guys eat your pizza like this? Take two slices and fold it, or one slice and fold it. And there is a tribe of you out there who like pizza cold. Like literally, you'll get the pizza hot, fresh, and warm, and you guys will leave it there or stick it in the fridge till it, it's cold and hard. I know there are some of you out there who eat their pizza like that, which I find a bit strange, but there's no wrong way to eat a pizza. 
Mm -mm -mm. Now, some of you guys ask how I eat so much and it seems like I don't gain weight. I usually only eat one and a half meals a day. It's intermittent fasting and it's like late in the afternoon. Like right now is the afternoon. And for those of you trying to lose weight, don't drink juice. Stay away from the juices, stay away from the pops. Just water, water's all you need and coffee. <laughs> If I need to gain weight for a role, like let's say I'm on, I need to play a character in a show or a movie where I need to be heavier, I will just drink pop all day because honestly, it, it you will gain weight. Water's the best beverage. Mm. Okay guys, the last two slices of pizza. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Also, I exercise regularly. I forgot to say that too. That really matters. In fact, I exercise regularly and kill myself working out or running so that I could eat. And being healthy is kind of like a sideline. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's good too. <laughs> mm. <laughs> RJ is looking at me shaking his head. Why? <laughs> you can't believe I ate a whole pizza? Yeah, that's not good, but... This is mukbang. That's gluten-y. It's not gluten-y. <laughs> All right, guys, the last slice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Here you go. Wake up. Manja, manja. Manjamo. Let's eat. Mmm. Okay, guys. I'm getting full now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And that's it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Just a couple pieces of chicken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mabuhay Squad, did you enjoy that? Or was that cringe? I'm sure there are some of you who enjoy the mukbang and some of you who don't. So that's why I want to make it part of another channel, if ever. A lot of you express that I should be talking during these mukbangs, but should it be like about anything? Or should it be about like what it tastes like? What should I talk about guys? I don't know. Thank you so much for watching this mukbang. Sorry if it turned you off. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was a really good pizza. Be sure to contact Amare La Cucina. They have a website you can order online. You can call their phone number and you can find them on social media and message them that way. So good. And just to clarify, this all is pretty much the only meal I will eat today. I might have a yogurt later in the night, but like all of this is good for my whole day. That's it. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner for me. Just wanted to clarify that in case you guys think I'm like a glutton or you think I'm trying to boast that I eat so much food, you know, in these very difficult times for a lot of people. Um, but no, this is my only meal and plus I wanted to share with you guys my favorite pizza um, and to, you know, promote Amare, uh, my cousin's restaurant, which I truly believe in. Um, and, you know, they're a business too. They would appreciate the support as well. Also, another thing to note is I recently ran a 5K outside. So I'm like super hungry <laughs> because my activity level is higher. But on weeks where I'm not really exercising or anything like that, I could not finish a whole pizza like that. <laughs> I'm just extra hungry because of my activity level um, as of late. And just remembered fasting uh, for us Catholics begins tomorrow so that is one square meal a day um, for those of you non-Catholics for Thursday and Friday we're supposed to fast and also abstain right veggies guys my tita and Karna used to always be like you're not allowed to eat animals that, f that from the sky land or sea so not even fish um, so it's just vegetables and one square meal is allowed so I'm glad I got that over with OMG guys, you gotta see this again. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep doing this to you, but what the dogs are doing right now is so cute and funny. Check them out now.